Hello, welcome to Steve's Gaming. And uh, today we're on the Commodore 64, if you've not already guessed. And this is Games I Love number 50. I thought 50, ah, right? wow. Um, let's do a good game for this one. So, this is a game that I played for, it must be literally hundreds of hours. Because I, I played it on a Spectrum like crazy, and then on Commodore 64, played it so much. Uh, as you can guess, <laughs> I never finished it. Never finished it. So let's get it loaded. I've not played this for, it must be like 30 years since I played this. It must be. Or something like that. No, we don't want the unlimited energy. What's the point? Right. Well, of course, we're talking about Halls of the Things. This is uh, by Design Design Software in 1984. What a game. What a game. It's sort of like a, a simplistic graphics uh, dungeon crawler. You've got like, like, I think it's seven or eight levels of this dungeon, separated by floors, well obviously do. And um, you've got to get these seven rings. Now, I've had five, or was it six? Like I said, it's, it's a long time ago. I never actually finished it, but what a brilliant game. First of all, the control. oh my god, the controls. <laughs> Now, back in the day, when I was a young bloody lad, it wasn't a problem. But these days, look at this, look at the controls. If I go to define the keys, press the right button, hold on. And we skip that. That. There's your, there, there's your buttons. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's absurd, isn't it? Left, right, up, down, fireball, lightning. Center the screen, keep things, drop, open, close, status. Heal, arrow, left, right, up, down. Colour all black and white, or and sword. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, these days, there's no way to remember that lot, lot. No way. So it's, it's, I'm using it as it's configured for the joystick. So we've got joystick for left, right, up, and down, and also a joystick for get, uh, open doors, and lightning. Now that sounds stupid, it sounds like every time you open the door or get something, it'll throw lightning, but the, the good thing about this is, you don't actually throw lightning bolts unless there's an enemy in the area, within sight sort of thing. So obviously, if there's an enemy in sight, you're not going to be opening doors or picking up treasure, so I, I, that works okay. But other things, um, yeah, we're either not going to use or I'll try and remember. Fireball, I'll try and remember as F, because that's a really good spell to use. And uh, status is 1. Heal is eight. I'll try to remember that. Yeah, good luck with that one. So, <laughs> we'll go back to the menu. And uh, we'll start the game. It says, please wait for a minute. And sometimes, yep, sometimes it is a minute. It really is. So, I love this. I, I first got this on the Spectrum. And I loved it because the, the, the character you play is just like the character, the, the sprite in um, Warlock of Firetop Mountain on the Spectrum. And that's another game like this. I, I love to bits. So, it was, like, it was basically like... Uh, well, like a fire top mountain part two because it's the same character. It looks, yeah, it, it, even on the C64 here, yeah, it's the same character. So right here we go. We're at the bottom of this this dungeon. Now that room to your left there, that's sealed. That's your final room. There is a cheat code to unlock that and go in straight away. I know it, but I'm not going to use it because it's it's instant death. It's a massive, massive open room with, well, dozens and dozens of enemies, and you'll just you just die in seconds. So there's no point in going in there. So these blue lines represent stairs. So if I go up that one, that goes up a floor, and you see that we can go in there if we like, pop our head in, and press fire. There's no enemy in sight, okay. So we go up again, that's another floor. And we can keep doing this, and we can go, go into the floor we like. Now the blue bottle, it's health, I believe, if I remember rightly. Now that's an enemy. Um, you see, even the maze. Look at the, the, way, the way the maze looks. The, the graphics of it. It's just like Wizard of uh, the Wizard of Warlock of Fire Top Mountain on the Spectrum, which is rather than red, it's green. That's why I, I loved it. It was just like, it was like an extension of that game to me. And that game I put, I played so much, it's ridiculous. So what I usually do here, right, rightly or wrongly, I usually go right to the top and start at the top floor, just because. Well, why not? Right now. The yellow things is treasure, if I remember rightly. Now the top treasure one, which is the one to our left, the one with the six yellow dots, that's the best treasure. But sometimes the monsters 
disguise themselves as that treasure. So the best thing you do is not go right up to it, but hit your lightning button. And if it detects as a monster there, it'll throw a lightning bolt at you. Yeah, bastard. Whoa, did you see that? Wow. <laughs> Death. Instantly killed. Good grief. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't, I didn't think it might be a monster, but I didn't expect it to die quite so fast. I think it was just lightning bolts going left and right. They do tend to bounce around a hell of a lot. And you can, yeah, your own ones can zap you too, as well as theirs. <laughs> That's probably the fastest death in this game ever for me. What the hell? So, yeah, I'm going to, going to go through the top again. Of course, the maze is, well, apart from the bottom level, which is open, they're all random. So every time you play it, it's different. That's what makes it so cool. Right, there we go. So if I stop, let's take our head in. Oh, press the button. No lightning bolts. Right, so there's no enemies above right now. Of course, I do wander around. So what I tend to do is press up, go up, hit the button, no enemy there, that's one, that's one there, he's going to come down, isn't he? Where is he going to go? Ah, we got him, we got him. Another one. Shit. Yeah, bugger. Tell me we got him. Yeah, we got him. I like the little smoking body it leaves. That's really cool. Shit, there's another one. Wow. Press one, man. Press one. That's status. Wounds. Our wounds are only half. Arrows. Well, I've not used arrows yet. Well, it's, not, it's not configured really for arrows. Dead things. Look at how filled that by. We killed, we killed, what, three? And it's like, like two pixels on that. <laughs> so where is this bugger? Is he up or down? Oh, that movement is so quick. Careful, pick that up. Now, I'm going to status up again. Can you press H? Yeah, if you press H, it uses the magic to heal. There we go. So we've healed ourselves. Now, is that enemy still kicking around or will he do we... Whoa, the son of a bitch! Dead! Wow! Wow! Uh, yeah, I'm not really showing this off, am I? <laughs> I think people who have not played this game before are going to say, uh, yep, I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it's, it's fun as hell. It really is. Let's uh, wait for it to generate another maze. Right, I'm going to try a different room. <laughs> can we go in there? We'll pick that up. Now we can go up to a door. Press the button, it'll open it. Yeah. Now that's treasure, but it's not the, it's not the top treasure, so I know it's not, not an enemy. I must say, it's a little tricky with a joystick. In there, down there, that could be an enemy. It is. But we fried it straight away. Suck on that. Pick that up, pick that up, no point. Oh, I was going to say no point going down there, but yeah, we can. We can go in here and in here and pick that up, and that could be another enemy. It is. Don't get frazzed by your own bloody lightning. Now that's tricky. There is a button to centre the screen on you, and I can't remember what it is. Is it space? Let me try it. It is. There we go. Right, I'm gonna try and fireball this bugger. Ooh, he fireballed me as well. This is <laughs> how not to play holes of the things. So, you know, the fireballs are best used uh, with the keyboard. If you set it to uh, the joystick, they use so much of your, your magic up, you, you can't use it that much. The great thing about fireballs is A, they're powerful, and B, they actually home in on the enemies. Rather than just bounce around randomly like lightning does, it actually home in on, on the enemy. If it's moving, it'll still nail the bugger. But you can't use them, you know, rarely. You don't have a lot of magic. So let's try again, come on. Where shall we go in here? No, we're not going in there. He's zipping about a bit, and let's go to the next floor up. 
Enemy. He took the fireball out as well, the swine. Kill him. This is a. He's a tough little sod, isn't he? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna take my health. Look at that, I'm nearly dead. Can I heal? Can I heal? A little bit of magic, yeah. So the, the, the little, um, the blue vials, that's the, it's top of your magic up, so. That sod isn't gonna die, is he? I could do with a fireball in. Hold on, I'll try and position myself like a fireball. Then. Did that get him? Got you, you swine. Oh the hell. I'll pick that up. Got down here. What's down here? Nothing, dead end. What's over here? Touch that. Right, check our status. Wounds again, look at that. It can heal a little bit but not much. Now, check that. A bit more magic. Heal again. Oh we can't, we've not got enough to heal. Shit. So, trick look down there. Oh, okay. Pick the bottle up. Now can we heal? Yes, we can a little bit. Right. And then, we look at, obviously, like I said, we're looking for rings. We need seven rings. I believe there's one on each floor. I believe. Up here. Now we're getting, we're getting into the territory of being sort of lost. No, that could be a nasty, couldn't it? No, it's not. Press the fire button. It didn't throw lightning, so it, it's not a bad guy hiding. There we go. Treasure. No, fireball. Whoa. Pressing the button, no lightning, so where is he? Come on. Where are you, you bugger? No, that is that. Is that him there? Probably him. Pick that up. Have a quick look. No, it's the other side. Are you going to come up or what? He's not. So, okay. I'm too chicken to take him out around a uh, corner I can't see. So what I'm going to do, if I remember the route, I'm going to go back and go to the next, fl <laughs> next floor up. Get out that bloody door. There we go. Oh. And we toasted him. Our way for health. Not good. Not good at all. And we've got another enemy there. For oh, Christ's sake. Fried him. And there's another one down there. Bloody hell. Whoa, I think there's two down there. I <laughs> one just got fried with a lightning bolt. <laughs> Shit! Now we've got no magic, I think, have a look. So, we can't throw lightning. What we need to do is... I'm brightly. Sword, get your sword out. Oh, the sword. Now, in Wallach of Firetop Mountain, you tapped S and you got your sword out. And you could just bash into things and kill them. Here, S just slashes the sword. So you got to like, it's pummel S. When you're near it, yeah, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well when I'm using a joystick and the keyboard at the same time. Um, I can't, we could fire arrows, but you know, I, I can't, honestly can't remember the keys it was set up to. I really can't, so we're screwed. What we think we'll do is go to another floor, maybe try and find some bottles. And we walk straight into a bloody enemy again on the next floor. We need some... Uh, what would you call it? Mana? Potions? Well, that's warm, but as you can see, it's nearly bloody empty. Another one there, that's almost empty as well. Could use it to heal, but probably better off saving it for throwing lightning bolts. So let's try the top floor. Bit there. What's over here? 
An enemy. Shit. Shit. Those bolts and half bounce around. Okay. Let's uh <laughs> let's try somewhere else. Hoping to find some with some few dead bodies there. All the way this sort of little body on the ground steaming away. That's so cool. Smoking, whatever. It really looks cool. I'm trying to fry it out so I can get a Get it! I was killed. You've been killed, you collected no rings. Killed four, only four monsters. I thought I got more than that. And scored a whopping eight points. A whopping eight points. <laughs> so let's look at the keys again, just to try and remind myself. Arrow fire is A. Then you got five, six, seven, eight, four left, right, up and down. I mean, what a piss poor way of bloody doing the arrows. I mean, why not something like, you know, um, I don't know. IK for up and down, JL for left and right, something that looks something that looks a little, you know, like in the right direction that you're, you're pressing the button. Five, six, seven, eight is just just crazy. Well I we'll have one more go because I'm trying to show that it's a great game. Honestly, I'm not doing a good job. I know I'm not, but I promise you it's a brilliant game. It really is. You can get so engro <laughs> engrossed in it. And you're gonna get really deep into the maze, he's trying to find a ring. Yeah, oh, it's the tensions. But it's a brilliant game, it really is. Right, so it's eight to fight arrow, isn't it? Right. Right, so ah, I figured it out. I figured it out. So you do four, five, six, seven to set the direction you want to show. Direction you want to fire even. And then press A and it fires in that direction. That's a little confusing, but I guess you get the hang of it. So let's go up here. What have we got up here? We've got an enemy, so we don't want that. This floor. Oh, two bottles. Anything nasty in there? Not yet, no. Whoa! Get in there. Jeez. Well, then we got fried. I think they fried him, not me, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that looks a bit too uh, scary. I'm going next, next floor. Up. Another enemy, another one above as well. Bloody hell, this is a bit. Now, did we get him? Let's, uh, yeah, we did, we fried him. And another one, bloody hell. Get the bottle. Get, get the treasure. <laughs> nice credits. <laughs> Can we, oh, look at those enemies all over there. Christ. Whoa, yeah, yeah, now I'm chickening out. I'm chickening out, and I'm gonna get fried. No, no, get out quick. Oh, look at the wounds. Oh, dear, we're not, we're not far off dying. Heal, get that magic used to heal. To save some for lightning bolts, or oh, bloody hell, sod that, we're going down. This, this, this map seems quite brutal, it really does. A lot of enemies, so that's, that's, we're at the bottom, yeah, we can't go in, but we do have a, a cheat code, but there's no way I'm going in there, no way, so, um, uh, fireball and lightning, suck on that, that's, we got one of them, and we got the other one, now stay out of there until the lightning bolts are finished bonding around, otherwise you'll kill yourself, now hope there's no more enemies for a short time. Uh, centre the view and... Where should we go up or down? Let's go up. Open the door, that's it. Oh, another enemy. Let's centre the view again. We didn't get him, really. Go up and centre it now. That's the right button does help. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. So uh, get that bottle. Get down a bit, down a bit. Not that much. There we go. Centre the view again just to try and play safe. And again. I 
don't really want to walk into a monster and kill myself, which I probably may do here. Bloody joystick. Okay, we've got a lot of rooms and not many monsters, which is good. It's even better if you can walk around without bloody walking into things. Treasure. Points, I presume. More mana portion. Pick it up. Get down, yes. Not that far. I'll say. Maybe we should be doing better with keys for this. Right, let's centre the screen and we've got oh two nasties. And maybe a third one if that pile of gold is a hidden one. It is. We've got one. Can we fireball the other one? Oh no, we got killed. Ah, DL. No rings again. We didn't even see a ring. Kill eight monsters on 16 points. <laughs> so there you go. So, yeah, I could play that all day. Easily. I really could. I love it to bits. I mean, I'm. I know the graphics are shit, I know the sounds are pretty much non-existent and I'm guessing a lot of people are going to look at that and say what a pile of shit but I love it, I love it to bits, I really do. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.